I would like to show you some of the new features in Machine Translation Edge 8.5. Let's take a look. So we've implemented a brand new feature called real-time adaptation with user feedback. So say you have a translation that requires a change. All you have to do is click the suggest a better translation button. We will make our change and then we push improve. So when you do this, your feedback will go into a queue. Let us take a look here. So an administrator will be able to see all of the feedback from various users. And from here, the admin can approve or reject a change. When they do this, the next time MT Edge encounters the source text, it will use the approved translation. Also from here, the admin can search from within the search feedback field. One of the things that they can look for is the approval state. And when they do this, it will create a very simple feedback mechanism in a sleek UI, creating a feedback loop. There have also been multiple UI improvements to the tool. We have converged the UI to have the same look and feel as our shared cloud product called Machine Translation Cloud. If you are familiar with previous versions of Edge, you'll notice that the Translate, Translation Queue, Dictionaries, and Adapted LP buttons are now all on the top instead of on the left sidebar. In 8.5, there have been several usability improvements. I will break these out for you. Within 8.5, we have a new OCR library called Abby. OCR here stands for Optical Character Recognition. Abby is a digital intelligence company with award-winning products and developer kits that enable access to data that is hard to capture, such as data from images and PDFs. So we will see some new PDF options here under PDF conversion. Abby Enhanced covers all Roman, Cyrillic, and Greek alphabet languages with additional support for Asian and Middle Eastern languages, such as Arabic, Chinese, Japanese, Korean, Hebrew, Farsi, Thai, and Vietnamese. You will now have some different options to select for PDF conversion. If you keep PDF Smart Selection, MT Edge will select the best engine based on the PDF type and languages. This should be selected by default. A scanned PDF will go through Abby. Searchable PDF with Asian or Middle Eastern languages will also go through Abby. But searchable PDFs for all other languages will go through the default SCL OCR library. If you select standard, all PDFs will go through the default SDL OCR library. If you select Abby Enhanced, it will process all PDFs with Abby. If a language is not supported by the Abby license, then it will by default go to the SCL OCR library. So I have a scanned PDF here. I'll show you. And I will drag and drop my file. I have Abby Enhanced selected. And as it's translating, I can actually go here to the translation queue. We can see that it is pre-processing. Um, in a moment, I'll be able to open it up. And what I wanted to show you here in the translation queue is that it does show you what the input and the output format is. And when you do this, it will tell you which mechanism it used in order to process the file. So now that the file is done, I'll download this from here, but we can see that the PDF enhanced or the Abbey library was used. So I will open up my file. It'll take just a moment. Um, but for being a scanned PDF from English into French, this looks fantastic. Another brand new usability feature is the ability to email a translation directly from this interface. Why would you want to do this? Perhaps you've translated complex content and want to have one of your native in-country language speakers check the translation, or maybe you just want a simple way to send the document for post editing. Just push this green button here and it will email the document. This is all configurable, so you can dictate who the email comes from, whom it emails, etc. Another feature within the Translate UI within 8.5 is label support. This is the ability to assign tags or labels to documents. Why would you want to add a label to a job? 
while this allows you to tag translation jobs with specific information. Maybe you are a law firm and you have case numbers that you want to retrieve, or maybe you would like to track project types for billing purposes. Whatever your use case, this will allow you to label or tag content and then search and retrieve those jobs later based on these labels. So let's see it. First, we will select our label here. You can select multiple labels. We will then drag and drop our file for translation. And then when we go to the translation queue, we will see that our projects have this same tag that's applied here. We can also go to the search menu here, and this will allow us to search for any project that we have tagged with that specific label. If I want to add a label to a project from this view, I can also select one or multiple files, and then I can add or change their labels here. As long as I am in this translation queue, you will notice in this view that there are bulk actions that I can do within the UI that are unique to 8.5. You can see here that I can select multiple files, and then I can also batch delete files, and I can also batch download any files that I have translated. If you have any questions around any of the features that I've talked about today, please feel free to go to our SDL community at community.sdl.com or contact your SDL sales or machine learning consulting representative. Thank you.